and welcome to Norris Cove. Or welcome back. I'm Yoshida, and today we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly check in for me. So, if that is something that you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you all. So, I got a couple of, <laughs> I got to tell you guys what happened this week with my budget, what's going on, and it's nothing really bad. Um, but I'll have some new categories. I'm going to have to start cash stuffing again. Um, so I made a couple of notes over here. So let's just do the review of last week. And I tend to forget, but let's do it. So last week was April 11th through the 17th. And oh gosh. Hold on. So hair, here we go. Hair, I didn't fill this in. Hair, I guesstimated or projected to be seven fifty, and we end up getting one thousand one hundred and thirty dollars. Yes, and I was correct with the nails. I didn't do any nails. Um, Norris Cove didn't make any money last week. I had a sale, well, some new items, so nothing happened there. So <clears throat> no miscellaneous, and actually, I was supposed to put for miscellaneous. This week was the 200 I took out of my savings. So we're just not gonna worry about that. But anyway, so our total for the week was $1,130. And I have that written down here in my A6. Um, let's see, so card note got paid. Then they took an extra card note, you guys. So I was like, wait a minute, that's going to be like three car notes in a month. No, ma'am. So I had to let it clear and then they put it back in my account. And then thank God I had it there, though, just doing so much better. Uh, booth rent got paid two fifty. dollars Citibank, I gave them 31 because I was, mm, wasn't sure how it was going to end, you know. And then Barclays, I did give 100 to. And then T-Mobile, I gave, well, that's this week. I just went ahead and paid them off, y'all. 166. I went ahead and paid them um off. So that was due. That is actually due on the 21st. And I did have money left. I will say this. So I kind of technically left a hundred in my account and just added more to it today. So I paid that off today. So it was 166. Okay. So <clears throat> let me be quick. Here are my notes. I put eat out less. I did excellent. I ate at home every day, except for one day I ate out. I went to Chipotle, but I spent a lot of money in grocery, okay? And then I put make lunch smoothies, less miscellaneous spending, and no planner spending. I did buy something from the plant from the planner spot. That was it. Um, but, so now I got a new Chase card for flights, y'all. That's the whole situation. Then I found out there was a buy, you could buy now, pay later. So I had to get my daughter back home. I was going to use my credit cards, but I was a little short. Didn't want to use my bill money, but we just decided the last minute that it would be cheaper for her to fly home than me to drive. It would it was been like a four hundred dollar difference. So I got them through. I applied for the car, but I had to wait to see if I got approved. But in the meantime, I just couldn't wait. Had to catch those tickets kind of low. So I used the Uplift program. So it's going to cost me about thirty six, thirty nine dollars a month. I intend to pay that off. I got in a lot of little debt last week. So then about a day later, Chase hits me up. Congratulations, you got the card. So I'm like, oh God, I don't need another credit card. I just paid off credit cards. But nonetheless, because sometimes my daughter needs to fly home. Um, I rejoined Planet Fitness. That's going to be $22.99 a month, $23. And I've made a note to add to the $1 and $5 challenge. Then I bought groceries. I ended up spending about $200 in groceries last week. And I'm going to tell you why. My husband normally, we have a grocery budget, a card that we just use for groceries. Well, I used some of it to um, do my niece's baby shower. I still had some left around roughly about $170 something dollars. Used that. Plus, being that I've gone back to eating healthy, I added $200. Now, I'm going to start taking back over groceries just a little bit and my husband's going to help, you know, when he can because we had some new windows put in. So he's trying to take advantage of paying that off with the zero balance before it runs out. So I'm going to take on groceries now. So I will have a groceries envelope and I've spent 200 this week. So now I got to try to budget very, very tightly. Um, Put money back in savings. Okay, so that is last week. So let's just hop into this week. So I've already kind of highlighted it here, put a little sticker to spruce her up. 
um, I'm gonna leave that open for a second. I'm gonna go to the month and see what we have. What do we have for this week coming up? This week will be the 18th through the 24th. Um, Barclays, they were paid last week. Okay, so here, we're gonna project 700. It's looking a little slow this week. It is my birthday week. Um, I'm not working Friday or Saturday. Um, nails, I do have a customer coming on Friday. I said I wasn't doing nails, but, so I got $30. Um, Norris Cove, um, I made a sale today. I'm gonna just put Norris Cove at 50 again. And miscellaneous, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna leave that kind of zip right now. And that gives us $780 to work with for the week. <laughs> Let's see how we do. So Barclays is doing the 18th. I've already paid that. I paid that last week. So this week I have to worry about Carnot and T-Mobile. I've already paid T-Mobile. So um, I guess I'll put T-Mobile down anyway. Um, Carnot is still on the 20th. And that's card note number two. And that'll be $181.60. I'm going to put T-Mobile because I took money um, out of there. Oh, Lord, T-Mobile. It's the 21st. I'll just put the 20th. Okay. T-Mobile. And I had put, like I said, 100 from last week. So I'll just say that I added $66 to that this week so i'll just make that 66 and my birthday saturday but i'm not i don't plan to really buy anything for myself i've treated myself enough um these are too too much oh booth rent booth rent girl you can't forget that booth rent is 250 so i already have my car note um in the bank sitting there just waiting um, so all I have left is that. So booth rent, let's do on the 23rd, which is Saturday. These are all my bills. But what I want to do, I want to look forward to next week. So next week I see on the 25th, I have Netflix, right? Um, that's $20. We know we can pay that next week. I can just give that to my husband anytime. Um, car insurance is due next week. GoDaddy is due next week. There's something else, I just don't know what it is. So car insurance is 206. So I wanna have at least half of that. So I'm gonna put um, car insurance, and I'm not gonna put a date here. And I'm just gonna put hundreds, cause I wanna have at least half. That is That seems to be working for me. Um, let me show y'all my little calendar here. It's a little decorative. But um, what I'm doing is trying to keep money for um, the upcoming week in my uh, bank account, I pay my big bills. Like I got asked this. I, get, I pay my big bills with the money in my bank account. I usually get paid by cash, Zelle, or uh, Cash App. So when I get paid by cash, Cash App, or Zelle, that money goes directly into an account. I usually, if there's a certain account I'm paying a bill out of, then I'll disperse it to that account. But my car insurance... Um, and car note, they come out of that account that the money is being deposited in, if that makes sense. I'm going to do a digital envelope for you guys one day. So you, I'll probably do that on Wednesday so you can see where the rest of my money goes and the other bills that get paid and how they get paid digitally. So anyway, so I can look ahead. That's why I love a monthly view. Let me zoom out. This is my reason for having a monthly view is because I can kind of see ahead. And I'm actually going to start working on May. I'm going to go ahead and fill out my May so that I can kind of mentally be ahead. If you're self-employed, entrepreneur like myself or not, um, it's always good to kind of pay ahead. I'm trying to uh, budget as if I got a paycheck, even though I don't. Um, I'm trying to budget that way. That is kind of working for me. Like last week, I knew, hey, I had my car note coming. I couldn't spend too much. So I didn't. I didn't even buy a big Easter dinner or dinner spread because I had spent a lot of money on grocery just trying to eat healthy. So 
always, whenever I'm trying to eat healthy, I smell a lot in the beginning, and then it kind of dies down once I figure out the foods that I like or the things I'm going to eat over and over. And then, too, I have to feed my family as well. So I'm going to be making meal plans and budgeting my meals now to help me um, budget for the groceries now. And I'm enjoying having these responsibilities because these are things that I had prior to marrying my husband or prior to, um, you know, becoming low income. So that is that. Um, I'm put down here in cash envelopes real quick. Grocery. I've already spent $37 this week. So I'm going to put a hundred. So that means I have like $70 left to, um, spend. Um, I want to give savings 25, And that's about all I can do there. Um, let's get to totaling up what we have. Let me also, while I'm thinking about it, let me check in my A6 because that's where the real budget be because I keep it on me. So let's see. So I have car note, um, T-Mobile, and Booth Rent. Same thing. So my total is $5.98. Probably subtract the hundred and a dollar. So Let's see what we got going on. We have $5.97, and that is because I realized I added the car insurance. So $5.97 is my total. And we're going to subtract that from the $7.80. And that leaves 182.40. I'm just gonna put 182 over here and here. And then subtract 25. That leaves 157. I should have put that down here, but it's okay. And then the hundred for grocery would be fifty-seven dollars. So I have fifty-seven dollars left. So this is what we have left: fifty-seven dollars. If we, you know, spend the money wisely, again, car insurance is not due till next week. I want to hold this off. So if I didn't make this seven hundred, I would just subtract the 100 of the car insurance because I know I have till next week to pay that, but I just want to be prepared. So I'm going to hold a hundred dollars to the side. I could get rid of savings of not putting $25 in savings, but the grocery we got to have, we got to eat. So I've already spent 37. So what I'm going to do, I may even just make this 75 because what I'm going to do is try to map out some meals, some quick things, some cheap things, and that'll be within my budget. And I still have like leftover health food from like last week, uh, probably months ago, the last time I tried to, you know, eat right. So whatever. Um, let's go down here and uh, make a meal plan, a cheap meal plan. Um, dollar sign make cheap meal plan what else could help us um you know generate this money uh of course no planner span i've been creating my own things lately anyway so uh, i shouldn't um do that and also i have to account my daughter is coming back which i'm going to probably have this in the miscellaneous i'm paying for her dog to fly back which is 95 dollars and i told her i'd give her some money to help her with her bills so i'm just gonna put 195 for destiny and it's 95 dollars to fly the dog back so but it's her time is up with grandma so she has to go so let's uh put this back in so i hope that this makes sense the way that i budget um i know i have about a few entrepreneurs who follow me, some hairstylists, some nail techs, and um, I just want to make it simple for you guys because as self-employed people, getting paid daily, it's easy for that money to slip through our fingers. I always tell people that 
Every day you need something. Just like today, I got paid, I went to the grocery store. Now, had I not had a check or the money, I would have made something work with what I had. But of course, sometimes you need toilet paper, deodorant. So it's best to get your money in line and make envelopes and, and just a budget for those even small things so that you can keep track of your money. Um, I have not, I will be honest with you guys, I have not been writing in my spending tracker here. Um, I've just kind of been guesstimating, but I've been keeping track of that grocery. I can tell you that. I know how much I spent on grocery. So um, yeah, um, I'm going to start back doing that and I'm going to put a spending tracker in here so I can come home and add it to this. And then that way I can kind of look at it kind of a little bit bigger. But um, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment in the comment section. I will be happy to answer your question or just to interact with you. If you are new here, just say hello down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you to the Cove. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, if today's your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye.